there are some times that I watch, I start watching a movie and I'm rooting for that movie, either because it's from one of my favorite directors or I, I like some of the actors they have in it. But for whatever reason, sometimes I'm just really waiting for a movie to do well. But unfortunately, most times those movies don't. And such was the case with Made in Heaven. Hey you, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adenike Adibayo Esho. I am a movie and lifestyle content creator. Woohoo! <laughs> Please subscribe to my channel, check out my other videos, and just support me anyhow you can. Drop a comment, thumbs up the video, you know, show me love, pretty much. Right, so today we're going to be talking about Made in Heaven. It's a brand new Nollywood movie currently showing in Nigerian cinemas, directed by Toka Magbaro. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. The lady from the bar? Yeah. What's she doing here? What, ha what happened? My baboon brain boyfriend drove us into a truck. The movie features Nancy Isime, Blossom Chuku Jeku, Uche Nwefuna. You also have appearances by RMD, AY Makun, Jide Kosoko, uh, Jay Franklin, who is a filmmaker himself. Made in Heaven tells the story of a young man and a young woman who met on a particular night and unfortunately died that night and both went to heaven and then they run into each other in heaven and circumstances happen and they're both sent back and the guy is on a mission to not only find the lady but make her fall in love with him within seven days of which if she doesn't fall in love with him within seven days he's going to die again and then he's going to be damned to hell for eternity first of all let me tell you that storyline by itself it's creative shows that this particular writer put a lot of thought into okay let me do something different let me do something creative and i just thought the idea for the movie was very very creative they deserve kudos for that and they now have the casting okay so, listen li listen blossom chukujeku is you guys know is like maybe the love of my life <laughs> in the acting room <laughs> I love how he immerses himself into his characters and it translates. This movie actually made me realize that you can have a very silly, so to say, movie and still have an outstanding performance from that movie. Such was the case of Blossom Chukujeku in Made in Heaven. The scripting in terms of dialogue was actually quite witty and for the most part I enjoyed the dialogue or to a certain point because even though the dialogue was witty the delivery was weak of some of the lines so it didn't quite hit home toka magbaro is a very diverse filmmaker when it comes to cameras and cinematography so he actually does cinematography well so his cinematography in made in heaven was quite good the cgi's they needed to do a lot of cgi's because you had an angel you had heaven you had those things it was okay it wasn't it wasn't oh my gosh i have never seen that before but it was it was good okay let me lead from that into things that i thought were quite weak and ended up being the downfall of the movie number one again the story the story wasn't well developed it, it it was it was just like you know like it started strong it started on a good note it started it was like scene after scene they were pulling me in and then it got to a point i think probably either one of two things the writer became lazy or they changed writers it just sort of went downhill and a lot of the scenes were just not making sense were just quite then the acting in those scenes were quite silly and embarrassing, if I am to say so myself. Yeah, the acting, the acting by some of your MCMs, I was just, I was, I was just like, what are you doing? The sound design was poor for a movie that's so heavy on effects and uh, actions and begin. You know, you would expect would expect a solid sound design that the angel sneezed alone the sound should have gone to heaven and come back costume and makeup was okay but i just thought in terms of the angel the costuming and the makeup it was raz 
No, the dread, the dreadlocks was okay. That was actually quite creative. But then you look at it and it's very tacky. Forced edges here and there. It was as if the wig wanted to enter her face. I was even like, this is nasty, Sime, you're dressing up. It's, it's not hard. But it's naturally, the girl said, she's naturally beautiful. So just touch up here, here, here. Fine now, you have your angel. But no, the editing of the movie was another downfall of it. It was very rough and shabby porn. That you shot it does not mean we have to see it. If it's not going to add anything to the eventual outcome of the story, then by all means, take it out. Transitions from one scene to the other, where we will be going from a scene where something, you know, exciting might have happened or something that they should have tried there, you get, and then you go to another scene and just kind of like blah. There are some inconsistencies in the storyline, some plot holes here and there. I think the major problem or one of the biggest problems with the movie Made in Heaven was the editing. Individually, if you look at the rushes, I'm sure they shot a good film, good enough to pass. But by the time they locked it together, it just did not make sense. Number two, the biggest moments in the movie were not strong. They didn't have that slam dunk effect. And that was a big contributing factor to why the movie just didn't make it. Over five, I would rate the movie Made in Heaven a two. Two over five. It was below average. Save the performance of Blossom Chiku Jeku and Nasty Sime. I think they both did well. Shout out to Uche as well. She did okay, but the character didn't require that much. But yeah, they did their best. So yeah, two, two over five for the movie Made in Heaven. What do you guys think? Have you seen it? I know quite a few people haven't seen it. But for those who have seen it, what do you think? Toka is a good person. I've met him a few times. Unfortunately, this movie was just one of those movies that just didn't hit it. For me. Anyway. <laughs> I can't wait to see you again very, very soon. Please remember to let me know your thoughts and comment down below in the comment section. Thank you so much for watching once again. Subscribe if you aren't subscribed. Yes, please, sister. I'll see you again soon. Remain in God and God bless you. Bye.